turn up. Yes, it's the Timeless 99.9 FM. I go by the name of Tulsa Wills. They call me the vibe of Lagos. And of course, I am hanging out with the baddest in the world. Mm. <laughs> What's good, David? What's up, my people? Yeah. Welcome back to the Timeless 99. Yes. <laughs> to have you back, man. Thank to have you, you back. Thank Welcome. You. It feels good to be quote unquote back outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's been it's been cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, took took the break, you know, definitely needed it. You know what I'm saying? I was basically working on the road for, you know, going to 13 years. But, you know, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. But we thank God, you know, all in all that, you know, we're able, we're able to gather strength, not only to, you know, finish the project, but to be able to sit here and talk to you because a lot of people won't be able to. So yeah. we thank God for that. Yes. And, yeah, we're back outside, man, you know, ready to, you know, continue to do what we're put on this earth to do, which is entertain and, you know, move the culture forward. Yeah. Um, and I was, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't online, but you know, I was, I was still around seeing what was going on. It was quite boring without me. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Attention, a little bit of tension. But so, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Okay. That's good. Album is out. <laughs> Timeless. Yeah. Going crazy. We're excited. Let me ready to go. We move, we move. So, um, David, the question on everybody's mouth, everybody's lips right about now is, how are you married? Did you get married? Did you have the, where's, where's the pee? Uh, the, finger, the finger is shining. Eh? <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, Ben was meant to get married, you understand? Been since time, but, you know, you know, didn't. But obviously, you know, me and my wife was something that we've been meant to have done. And then we just mm. got it out the way. You know, little family and friends, you know, got out the way. But I think soon, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, next year, maybe the year after we do something, celebrate. Something big. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's out the way. Okay, that's good. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And congratulations to both of you. I guess everyone is so happy and you know, everyone's really excited. Mm -hmm. You know, when we saw, I guess, the images. So, anyways, let's segue straight back into the music, the reason I guess we're here. So, anyone that's been paying attention to music has clearly felt your absence. It's, it's not a doubt. In London, they like to say, mind the gap. You know, so how do you feel about the caliber of music that has come out, you know, in your little hiatus and um, <laughs> I've, been, like, I've been dancing man i've been feeling like i've been you know like especially like you know um, shout out to rama man you know doing his thing um who else have i been listening to mm. kiss of course you know mm. saying, buju yeah. um ruga shay vibes mm. um i was listening to everybody really um ira Mm, everybody was vibing to me, you know what mm. I'm saying? But, you know, I didn't feel like the caliber of music wasn't there. Mm. That's not what I was talking about when I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, just the vibe of just, you know, and people missed me, but apart from that, everybody was doing their stuff, like everybody, you know, traveling, you know, going on tour, mm. but you know, it's OBO, OBO's mm. going around. <laughs> but, but I think everybody has been doing that thing, like Afrobeats, is at an all-time high right now. You mm. know what I'm saying? And, I mean, I'm happy that, you know, even while I was away, you know, my people held it down. So, easy way to just come back in and continue the work mm. I was Continue. Doing. Yeah, that's, that's, um, that's real. So, um, ah, man, OBO, like, one of your, when you were on your cheeky little hiatus, you know, you were still, obviously, still handling business, still putting in the work in, still performing. You know, how did it feel performing at one of the world's biggest stages, the World Cup? crazy um before you know um this is like a year ago you know what i'm saying we did the uh, uh the fifa draw and which we uh, performed the the official theme song i think they had like about, about five six official theme songs but that was like the first one yeah. and um you know the vibe was cool then i i wasn't i didn't really look at it like oh they're gonna call me back you know to do the world cup or you know, like stuff like that, and then later on, like when we get when I was getting like closer to the World Cup, um, I think we started talking with my management, like, you know, uh, yeah, we want you know David to come down. But me, I was always, I always thought was like, is it the main one? You know, I was always like, yeah, I was just like, okay, is it the main, 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 main one? I didn't even know it was like the main, 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 main one till like maybe like 
for week two going to Qatar, then you know they sent like okay, yeah, it's actually the main mm-hmm. closing mm-hmm. event. You know what I'm saying? We have to come a week before rehearse, and um, that was like a month after you know my son passed. So it was just like, ugh. I was just like, should I do it? Should I do it? But I was like, man, this is this is like a, this is an opportunity that might never come again. Mm-hmm. And people don't even get it in their own whole career mm. and i was like man my son will probably want me to do it and i was like okay i think i'll do this one and then probably just you know disappear again so we went to qatar got that number bro like the production like like we were like a mom we haven't done any work at all mm. like yo that performance woke us up like yo whenever we get back to performing we about to be doing some crazy stuff so you know amazing experience shout out to the qatari people very loving people mm. you know so i feel like that was like one of the best places I could have gone, like having, I mean, after what happened to me, very mm-hmm. loving, caring people, they took care of us the whole time. And then, you know, after the World Cup, we came back out for like a day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was fun. We did that and then, you know, took another hiatus. You know, just had to really regather myself, recollect myself. The album, I recorded like 50% again, you know what I'm saying? Came back to Lagos, you know what I'm saying? Got in the studio, hard like crazy mm. Mm, got the team back together which is like oh yeah you no know, gradually you know we're gonna have to go back to work because you know what i'm saying that's 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 what we put on this earth to do to do so yeah we go back to the album recorded it you know what i'm saying started packaging it and you know what i'm saying it would just come together naturally we didn't force it it wasn't like ah oh my, we have to put our music we have to go back to work let's force it no 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 we took our time like everyone was like david you know when you came out you're david are you ready are you sure i'm like yo bro yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I was like yo so when it was time I was like you know I think I'm I think I'm ready to you know what I'm saying to go okay so like back to you know just before we leave Qatar and you know Dubai and everything Qatar um, yeah like do you still get a little bit anxious you know, before you perform you know I know you said the production was mad and everything you know does it still does it feel a bit daunting sometimes or it's just coasting easy I mean, like, coasting with, with the World Cup is different because apart from the, the 100,000 people watching you it's a whole nother building out, a billion people watching mm. outside so it's like I think mm. like, <laughs> like even if I mess up in this studio like I'm trying to mess up the whole world oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying so um like I said, like the preparations before the show, like you, you basically have to be so slow to mess up. <laughs> mm. Whereas like whereas like what three days back to back, I was even tired, like whoa but it's like yo, it's the World Cup. You mm. can't mess up mm. basically. Um shout out to the other people that performed with me as well. Like it was like a global thing. They brought like somebody from um Malaysia, somebody from India. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it was cool. But mm. I would say I was I wasn't anxious, I was just like I don't want to fall trip or something, but you know what I'm yeah. saying? It was it was good. Fair. Okay. Um, you know, I've also we're going back into the music now. You know, I've heard through the grapevine that you've been working with, you know, certain new new people essentially, you know, a female, that's the the one I can confirm that <laughs> like you've been working with a new female artist and yeah. she's about to do a madness in the industry. So can you sure. shed shed some light on, on that? Okay, so uh this was um during this my chill period, you know what I'm saying? Um First of all, I watched all the Netflix shows. I watched, all the, I watched everything about everything on YouTube. Like, so um, I was just on my phone like one morning, um, at, like eight o'clock. I think watching reels, and I was just you know just swiping up, and then I, I think I see a reel of some girl doing a cover to uh, Perry's song, okay. one of Perry's songs, and I, I click her page. No, even the page I clicked didn't have her name on it. <laughs> So I clicked the page, I listened to, you know, the, the cover, I was like, damn, her voice is, her voice is crazy. Like, I think Chioma was even sleeping, so her voice is like, the voice is that bad, like, if oh. you're sitting over there, like, who's that? And I was like, oh, I don't know, it's some girl, I don't even know, like, blah, blah, blah. So I tried to find out, her name wasn't in the, in the um thing, so I went straight to the comments. Yeah. I went through the comments with like 300 comments I was going to what? <laughs> you two on comments as usual I'm oh, mad <laughs> so I was going to the comments going to the comments going to the comments and I see him so bam so I clicked it and I, and, I, and I went to our page then I got to our page and it's like 20 other videos there like blew my head away like I was like yo like it really she really blew my head away mm. then I DM'd I'm like yo straight because the way I even work with artists like I don't it's not a thing of me thinking like I will even waste time to say okay should we walk or should mm. I want to sign you 
let me just start. Mm. I've done it. Every, every, I did it with me. I did, same way I wrote to me. Same way I wrote. Same way. Mm. I wrote her. And she's like, what? Cause I damned her. She's like, what? Like not thinking it's real. Yeah. I was like, it's me. She's like, not replying. She's not even replying. It's just like scene, scene, scene. And then obviously she's in shock. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, send me your number. <laughs> and then um, she sends me the number. And I FaceTime her. So like she picks up. So you could tell like there are people behind the phone. She's telling them like, oh, more. Who See, you called me? What? I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, so she's very young. She just turned 21 last week. She was 21. Wow. So like, you know, obviously she was in school and stuff. So I was like, what's up? This is what I'm trying to do. She's like, yo, she's ready, she ready to come. Let her just arrange herself. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. lives in PH. Port mm. Harcourt girl. PH Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. PH people in the studio. Fully. So after like a week, I flew her down. Yes, I like she even left without telling her mom. It's wow. crazy. <laughs> her mom started looking for her. I had to tell her, yo, you got you gotta tell your mom. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, blah blah blah. I was like, okay, I'll I'll talk to your mom. So I spoke to the mom and then me and me and the mom are very like kinda kinda close. Now. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you know she came on board. Oh. And then she actually came to Lagos to just put her, you know, you just want to put her in a camp and just see, you know, you just start building her. And what she didn't even wait to. <laughs> she just started recording. She her pen game is crazy. Mm. She just started recording, recording just so much. I was just going over there every day to where she was recording because I was, I was you not know, as if I was doing anything at home. <laughs> yeah. So I was actually going there every day, just watching her, and then um, we got a record. Oh. There was one record, you know, that no, no, we got, and then I recorded with her. Okay. And I put her on the album. Mm. Wow. So like this is. Imagine your first coming out is David's album. Is album. Wow, you've changed that life for uh, so She's about to be fire. And there's another, and then her and um, Logos Olori. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's, you guys should just get ready. Hmm. Yeah, it's not much I can say, but for me to put my hand inside something, you know. Yeah. You know, um, shout out to Magic Sticks, you know, to Asha Kes producer. They introduced me to him. Okay. You know what I'm saying, and amazing you know what I'm saying so he's up on the label too so it's him and her and trust me they buy your madness for real oh, okay I guess we're, we're definitely looking forward to you know the madness that they're going to bring yeah. in the industry so um, yeah the title of the album um, Timeless you know you've we've had a good time we've had mm-hmm. a better time and now we've had time now we're getting timeless it's giving you know trilogy series vibes you know why did you decide to go with that title um well, like you said, like the trilogy, obviously. Um, but you know, funny enough, like it was never the plan. Yeah. You know, obviously the first one, but like the second one, and then it wasn't planned. Oh, we're gonna do it good, it good, it good, it good. Um, with this title, with this timeless, it kind of has to, has to do the trilogy, but at the same time, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying because we're still trying to to just po- really point out the fact that you know, like we've been dropping music since time and the, yeah. the music the feeling of the music hasn't really changed like when you enter the club and like i still come out with the same song like the whole time except sometimes i want to change it mm. i come out with damn duro most times wow. till now it is like we're talking 12 13 years after mm. and like the feeling doesn't change mm. to the people i'm performing to myself so um wow. you know we're just like and then as well it went sounded good with the trilogy as well but you know, we just wanted to really uh, um point out the fact that yo, this music has been timeless since time. Yeah. And okay. then we're about to now plant another time bomb hmm. that is going to last for another God knows what. So I think that's what we did with this record. We um I'd say I took my time, like, you know, I took my time and I, I was grounded when I made this this this, this record. Oh, I like. I, I feel like people are going to really, really enjoy. It. Resonate with this. I love what you said. It's been timeless from time. You know, I, I, real. I like that. That's for real. You know, that is for real. Okay. Um. You know, usually people drop albums. You know, in the summer. When did you start working on this album, this project exactly, and how did you even take the first step back into recording? That's if yeah. you ever stopped. Recording. Um, I never really stopped, but yeah. um, I was still like we were meant to drop like last summer. You know when you like I was telling like I, I told somebody this the other time. This album had three phases. Yeah. First phase is obviously when you're just overexcited. Oh, I made this song, I want to drop. Oh. And then like the second phase was obviously like I said, I kinda calmed down. I was like, okay. I don't I really try to rush this. And it wasn't really about the music at the time. Hmm. It was just really 
I just wanted to plan well with the, with the promotion and just have everything in, in, in interlocked with it, the touring and you know everything had to just be on point, mixing, mm -hmm. mastering, getting all the paperwork done. Because people don't, you know, people don't realize that like the music, especially dropping a project, the music is like what thirty percent of it, forty percent of it, and then when you start getting to the paperwork, you start getting mm -hmm. to the bro, that's just like <laughs> that's another three months of work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that was another you know issue, and then obviously we wanted to drop in November before my festival, before what happened, and then that was kind of like. That was like the pause where well, like you know we put everything on hold obviously yeah. and then it wasn't even you know like you know when you put something on on hold and there's no even asking oh yeah so when we go there was at that point there was no like so are we there's no asking are we moving it's, you know yeah. so at that point at that point i'm not even trying to do all this anymore ever mm. do you understand? Mm. so we, i won't say we put it on hold we're just a thing of nobody even asked about our mm. or asked about are we ever going to do this again mm. you know it was something that you know we, we all just kind of realized that almost that this is what i want to do this or you know we're going to continue to do mm. and for me when i traveled we traveled i went to an island and like you know it's me i think me wife just let's see my yeah. father like immediate family yeah and you know just being on being on the island alone and i really just listening to the music i went back like mm. back to records and i was like so after like a month of just and I, and, I, and and this whole time I'm talking with producers, people that are on the features on the album, I'm talking to them. I'm like, yo, I can't get to the studio right now, but um, <laughs> just sell, send me stuff. I'm keeping stuff. I'm keeping stuff. When I get to Nigeria, I'm entering the studio straight. I'm busting out these records back yeah. to back, and then I'm mixing and mastering the album, and then you know we're going into you know you know giving the album a vision. So um, after like two months of being away, like I was on the island, you know, I came back immediately. I came back, went straight. Like I remember, mm -hmm. I came back. We landed like early in the morning. Went home, took a shower, went That's straight to studio. straight to record. And yeah. then from there, you know, what I'm saying, recording three times a week, recording one times a week, and then you know, album started taking shape, taking shape, and then boom, boom. we were ready. Then we got to the visual part of it, and then you know. It's, it's, it's a process. Process. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, Mora V, mm. Musa Keys, yes, Dexter Daps, Fave, The Caveman, Angelique Kijo, mm. Skepta, Ashake, mm -hmm. Logos Omori, mm -hmm. and of course, Focalistic. The quality of the features on this project really choke. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> I choke. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Me, I, I have, you know, I've gotten snippets, and I really, really love the record with Angelique Kijo and um, Caveman. That is... You know, Stay cave. That is that is crazy. So, who did you enjoy working with the most on this project? Out of all your features? Uh, let me see. You know, you know, because of not most of the songs were in the studio together. I'm trying to think. Funny enough, I don't think I was in the studio with any of them. Okay. No, caveman, caveman. Okay. I was in the studio with caveman. I was doing Foka. Okay. I was in the studio with Murave. Okay. How was the caveman experience? Was, Yo, was... so, you know, the first time I, I seen, so I seen a show somewhere. I don't know where it was. I think I was in Abuja in the hotel or something. I think there's the one lounge downstairs. I don't know if it, that's why I first heard of them. But I saw some of them playing somewhere. And that was like the first time I saw them. And then after that, they blew up. Yeah. And I was just, just like the music, the vibe was different. I followed like them on Instagram and I just saw them grow and stuff. Yeah. And they finally, you know, and I wanted to challenge myself. Like every album, I feel like every album, there's a song where I always like trying to like challenge myself or something so different. Or like what? David is on this type stuff. Yeah. So I always wanted to always like get in the studio with them. So shout out to Wonder Banton, amazing producer. Ah, uh, whoa. Yeah, Wonder, Wonder Banton produces produced it. He produced me and Asha on the album too. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me and Wonder Banton had a we'll talk about that after. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we need to hear that we need to hear that. <laughs> what do you want that do? What do you want no, that no, do? No, nothing, nothing. <laughs> we got um so yeah, so uh I had the record and then I record a record in Paris and I get to London and then Caveman and then it's, it, it, you know like when I make a record I already know okay this is gonna sound this guy's gonna sound good on this 
So I played it for them and they're like, yo, can you help me jig it up? You know, you guys, yo, mm. all your cultural, <laughs> cultural. They're like, yeah, for sure. So they, we, we linked up in London. I remember, you know, I like to, probably not going to be doing it anymore like that, but I always like to get like my, if you come and record with me, like I'll take it to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> like normally you understand that from there we went to the studio yeah. so we got we went straight to the studio after that and then banged it out mm. and then uh, two weeks later uh, I went I, I didn't record with Angelique but I went to Kotonu okay. the president's son there is my very good friend so he just sometimes invites us out there chill okay. out there so I went there and just being in the vibe went to the beach you know she's from there Okay, yeah. You know, went to the beach, you know, it's just being in that. I was like, man, I think I'm going to call on Mama Africa, man. Mama. So I ended up Issa, and Issa knows them very well. So, mm. you know, he got that done. And then, uh, yeah, she loved the record as well. And it was just a good synergy. Like, you know, we imagine we all didn't even meet doing the record. But wow. I know probably soon we're going to perform it together. And it's just different, you know what I'm saying? It's very, very different. I love it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, shout out to K, man. Asha K, obviously, like, come on. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, last year he was like, well, you know, he put everybody on their feet, boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And me, everybody knows me. I'm not going to hold my hand and be just forming anything. I'm like, yeah, I need my verse yeah. whenever I'm <laughs> ready. Sure. And whenever I'm ready. And yeah. obviously, like, and I called Badu. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Badu, I guess I'm good for, you know, Asha K. Shout out to Badu. I respect him so much that, I could have just called Asha Ken, but I just like, you know, I think mm -hmm. I was called Badu. So I called Badu. And I'm Badu, well, I have this record, you know what I'm saying? Hook it up. Mm -hmm. Like, I got you. So I sent mm -hmm. it to Badu, and, you know, Badu got got the verse for me. And shout out mm -hmm. to Magic Six too. It's mm -hmm. nice. Who else? Morave, my artist, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, yeah, so I signed as well. So she signed to me okay. as well. Um, that's good. Um, Steak AV. Angelique Kijo, Skeppy, mm -hmm. you, yeah, in London, uh, uh, yeah, you yeah, 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 don't like London, <laughs> we don't like London, you don't go to, you don't hang out with London, I said, no, it's not even that, and funny enough, it's not even that, I just don't be in London, mm. yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's just, <clears throat> but, um, like, from two years ago, then me and Skepta, like, started hanging out, shout out to Tion Wayne, yeah, Tion Wayne is actually, like, my, I'm, cl I'm closest to him, yeah. in the UK, so we start hang, start hanging out. So I'm like, hmm, you care this for me, not that bad. Mm. You know? <laughs> so we started hanging out. And then I started going to London more, obviously. And then Skep Skepta has always been like, we you know what we've always wanted to be like, always like Mm. <laughs> yeah, just like Touch it this time. He's like, yo, what's up? Let's do this, man. And uh, you know, shout out to Puma too. Yeah, you know, he's a Puma, Puma ambassador too. So okay. that helped as well, you know. We met at the show in New York. Yeah. Um and it was amazing and then um you know sent him the record you know obviously yes this is my this one is a bit is a bit tricky okay. so who did you work with on this project and they didn't make the cut uh, <laughs> <laughs> many people <laughs> now, even in my DM like yo bro I can't wait I said Baba, you know do <laughs> um some because of like paperwork and then some you know what I'm saying. Oh, who did I work with? There's a list, I'm sure. But um, shout out to Friday. Fr Ooh. Friday had an amazing record, but oh. um, it wasn't like it, the, the, it was like a Drake sample. But I called Drake, and then he, he got a, he Drake cleared it for me. But then there were like other people, like uh, we couldn't get to in time. So if I probably waited like a week, one more week, yeah. I could have gone it cleared. But I'll just put oh. it on a deluxe though. Wow. You know, okay, okay, then, yeah. Who else? Uh, who else? <laughs> <laughs> feel free, yo. feel free. Um, <laughs> no, just it was, it's not even like the song was sweet. It just it just depends. Like me and Mayo Kuma had a record. Okay. One of the um, writers on the record was just acting. Mm. And after he said, "Now he can no, come, okay. he come fix back," was still it. <laughs> um, who else? Capella Gray from New York. Okay. Um, oh wow, Capella Gray. Yeah, Blast. Me and Blast have a record. Oh, wow. Who else? In Nigeria? Mm. Me and Kiss have a whole album, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're just keeping that for like when we're ready to do that. Okay. Um, that's really, that's really it. I okay. think everybody, 
else, you know, apart from like producers, but like everybody else that I really wanted on it, mm-hmm. you know, apart yeah, from just that Friday record. But shout out to Champagne Papi, it wasn't his fault. So oh, Champagne Papi. Okay. Um, which, do you work with any new producers on this project? What? I think, yeah. yeah. I don't even know their names, but they're there. They're many for the, for the, uh, yeah, a, a lot of new people. Okay. A lot. Yeah, because I could tell, like, the, I mean, the sound, it sounds, you know, the sound is, it's a bit, it's, it's very, it's you, but it sounds a bit more, ma- I don't know if it's mature or grown, I don't know what it is, but there's just, it's, 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 it's sweet, yeah, that's it, <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet, okay, I'm going to talk about two songs, two songs on the project, um, the first one is Over Them, that's, yeah. we started off the project with that, it was very motivational, he shouted out his excellency, of course, yes, sir, yeah, cool, and then, um, yeah, we know that you like to talk about politics, you yeah, know, from time to time, yeah. so how did you see the election? Um, you know, obviously, every, I'm happy that people are not even really coming at me because you know that if I was on, I was online, I'll be really yeah. vocal. I've always been vocal about it. Um, but I mean, I mean, I'm, I wasn't happy about it. Uh, that's just being honest. I don't. Mm. I mean, it is what it is. But I personally don't feel like that was really a credible election to me. Mm. But you know, what I'm saying, um, I feel like the most important thing is the safety lives of everybody you know but nah that wasn't it so mm. Mm. i don't think i'll, I'll be able to hide i can't hide that that wasn't it Fair. Nope. <sighs> okay and then i'm going to segue on the lighter notes now um the f- well, this is the second to the last song on the project um lc and d so can you just tell me a little bit more about this song cool. <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah, um, I made that record, funny enough, like two years ago. That's the oldest song on the album. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, I recorded that song, I think LA, shout out to Willis. And you know, just over like over time, like everybody knows, like even since just been since being 11 years old, I'm losing my mom at 10. Do you understand? Losing my best friend, my bodyguard, mm-hmm. I mean, like in one, two years, like, and then losing a child, like all that together. So the song, I won't say the song is really like, oh, I'm being sad, but you know what I'm saying? To me, I just feel like since I've lost all of them, I don't really feel like they've left me spiritually mm-hmm. or I still feel them around me kind of. Um, So that's why I was like, yo, legends never die. Mm-hmm. They were all legends, man, like to all of them. So just like, yo, they've never really, they're gone, but in like to me, they're not really gone. I mean, they'll always be here. So, and that record could be for any other person that's like going through Whatever it may be, do you understand? So, yeah, that's mm-hmm. like one of the, you know, most inspirational records I feel like people take from the album. And shout out to Willis, the instrumental to Willis, yes. very, very, very strong. Yeah, and the lyrics, that second verse. Make sure you guys listen to it back to back to back. Mm-hmm. 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 Take some things in. You feel okay. me? Okay. And the final, one, final one. Feel, feel me. Yeah, I feel it. I literally uh, feel it. I'm feeling, it's still that. ringing. I showed the video two days ago. It's still ringing in my ear. Oh my goodness. Uh, I can't, like, that one, as, when I hear it, I'm already seeing myself, like, in front of 300,000 people going crazy. Like, yes. And with the way we made that record, it was so, it was just like, pack, 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 pack. We didn't even plan it. Went to Blazy Studio. Crazy, though, like, 200 fans outside going crazy. Wow. And we just, we're recording with you like one day go feel it and go run it. Mm, it's and it just it gives you that like like nostalgic crazy house mixed with my piano yeah. mixed with like a breath the, f- the song like gives me like a breath of fresh air when I like yeah. listen to it and I'm excited about the record we shot the video with TG mm, yes okay. with TG and I'm proud to say that is the first 100 million naira video wow yeah. First hundred million dollars. Yes, in Nigeria. I must feel it too. Don't have a choice. Uh, but yeah, he went. He my hundred million dollars show. Cause we, we the video was like six. He should, it was six six day shoot. And I, I came for three days, and obviously it's cause like a storyline. So he shot for the other two days. But shout out to him, amazing. You know what I'm saying the visuals with this record, with this album. Like I'm not even joking about it at all. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's it, bro. So you've heard it here. Timeless, you know. Timeless, what? baby. The what else you want to expect? Um, hopefully, uh, I'm gonna be announcing the tours. Okay. US, we're coming. Um, Europe, we're coming. Um, and Africa, we're coming. And we're going everywhere this year. Mm. Australia, finally. Wow. I can't wait. Mm. I think I'm going to Asia too. 
Okay. Um, and yeah, the I know it's kind of too early to be talking about, but the deluxe is coming too. Timeless deluxe. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not slowing down. Obviously, watch out for Morave. Watch out for Logos. I think Logos is probably gonna drop first. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, but you're gonna 2.0 is going to be. And for if, um, by the way, 2.0. It's not only like um, a music label, like we're doing like just creative arts as a whole, you know, mm. even to producing what well, I want to, you know, like producing movies, you know, some okay. music videos, fashion, arts, just everything, like a, cre- a whole creative house okay. that we're trying to build. So just watch out for that. Mm. So yeah, you will be here first, you know, Thomas 99.9 FM, you have the baddest in the building in the studio, he's back, even though he never really left, but he's back, so <laughs> yes, make sure you keep it locked right here, only, only, only on Thomas 99.9 FM, and as I'm leaving you with this one, it's an amazing banger, it's the last song of the project, and of course it's titled Champion Sound, and vocalistic, keep it locked. Yeah, no.